Audio can be adjusted in a few ways in Wii Video. To adjust the volume of an entire audio track, use the slider in the track controls to the far left. To mute a track, click the kebab button in the track controls and select Mute Track. To adjust the volume of an individual clip in the timeline, select the clip and then click the audio button from the pop-up above the clip. Use the slider to adjust the volume of the clip. To create a fade at the beginning and end of the clip, click the fade box and adjust the timings as desired. The volume of the clip can be adjusted throughout the clip as well with the technique called keyframing. Keyframing can be useful for changing the volume at certain points, such as to fade out a background music track during dialogue. When the fade was added, four white dots, or keyframes, appeared in the clip's blue volume control line. Wii Video will automatically adjust the volume of the clip between the keyframes. To add more keyframes, click the line. Then, click and drag the keyframe upwards to increase the volume, or downwards decrease. Keyframes can also be moved left or right to change the timing of the fades. To delete a keyframe, double click it. Audio that's attached to video clip is hidden by default. To access the audio of a video clip, select the video clip and click the audio button from the pop-up. The audio will expand into a waveform below the video clip and can be edited the same way as any other audio clip. To remove the audio from a video clip, use the slider in the audio options to decrease the volume to 0%. To remove the video and only keep the audio instead, open the Opacity options and then use the Opacity line to turn it down to 0%. More information about Wii Video can be found on our other videos, as well as the PLU Knowledge Base.